Today we're going to clean something, Mazzy. Yay! I joined a motorhoming website forum mm -hmm. the other day. And they give you some tips. You know, people put tips in. And someone gave a tip on how to clean your grey waste um, tank. Because it can get very pongy, can't it? Pongy. But that's not the only issue really, is it? It's where it's affecting... The gauges on the, the electric, sensor. yeah, the sensor. It affects the sensor, and I thought it mm. just does, but apparently it happens to a lot of people. On your little machine up there, it tells you how full your tanks are, mm. and sometimes it will flash from zero to a hundred, and it'll just keep flashing. Or it'll just to bottom. say a hundred when you know it's empty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, we just don't trust that gauge, and you can try and clean the gauge yourself. Um, which I've done and it does work sometimes, it doesn't always. But we've put it on this morning and it's not working, is it? It is flashing from 100 to 0, so the sensor needs cleaning. A deep clean. A deep clean. Yeah. But it pongs down there if you don't look after it. So we're going to give it a proper deep clean today. We're going to try. Um, it was recommended use two bottles of cheap coca-cola mm -hmm. and what else non-bio non-bio washing, washing up liquid and then it'll make Not it washing up liquid like washing powder washing powder yeah but yeah. liquid yeah <laughs> um so we're going to give that a go and see if it makes a difference to the smell and to the cleanliness so come with us here it is flashing away behind me um so yeah we did give it a, a reasonable clean out last week but we obviously haven't cleaned the sensors so it doesn't matter how much you swill it out, uh, you need to get them sensors clean. So we're going to now just take a look inside. You know, we don't want to gross anyone out or anything, but it might be a bit of mucky water. That's all it is, just washing up water and things. And we're also going to try the same with the toilet. Just give that a really good clean as well. Yeah, because we, we we've got a good tip on that, haven't we? What's that? Where instead of using blue, if you use non-bio... Uh, well, we've heard that non-bio yeah. will do a, just as good a job as blue so does. So we want to test that theory, don't we? We want to test that yeah. out, yeah. So yeah. We're doing both. We're concentrating on the grey tank yeah, to so. show you, because we obviously can't show you the toilet side of things. Um, but we're going to do both at the same time. Just going round the corner to uh, empty the tanks. And another tip. Always unplug the electric lead before driving off. Yes. That's Young a man. really good idea. Yeah. I did it eventually. So this is a very good campsite. It's got a proper grate, you can see. So just release it. Ow. <laughs> Didn't hurt. The one thing about our van... Some people say, wow, is that how quick it empties? It takes about 20 seconds to empty this van from its grey waste. Some people it takes like 10 minutes. I saw yeah. some, I was watching someone yesterday and he was just stood there waiting for about 10, 15 minutes. That's gotta be clogged or something, I can't no, see. No, I think it's common with really? motorhomes. But ours is absolutely fantastic, it's straight out. So that'll be empty in no time at all. What? I'm not impressed, am I? <laughs> no, it's not your fault, but explain. Well, it is my fault. Well, I don't... <laughs> the last camp... And this annoys me. If you go to the cheap campsites, right, they always have a connector on the drinking water. If you go to these posh ones, they never have a connector on. So I used my connector on the last campsite, screwed on, and I've not brought it with us, Mazzy. So we've no connector to fill up with water. His only option is if the shop's open, but it won't be open at this time of day, I'll tell you now. The lovely campsite have lent me one. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> so I'll crack on and get this water going. Yeah. So we've emptied the water as much as we can, but we're on a slight slope, so it's not emptying fully. It does show on the gauge that it's empty, but it's not. Uh, and it, as you can see, maybe it's still mucky. Still mucky water, so we're just going to rinse it through, make it clear, and then we're going to do a little experiment. So 
So we think they're the prongs there, they're the sensors. Not 100% sure, but it looks as if it could be right. So that's as good as we can do for now. So what we're going to do is throw down some cheap cola, about 35 pence a bottle. Don't forget to shut it first. Shut what? The tank. Is it not shut? I don't know. <laughs> yep, shut the tank. We'll pour one of these in. Then we're going to throw some of non-bio laundry gel, this is. It's just cheap stuff, it's isn't it? cheap stuff. Yep. How much do you think, Mazza? You're the just washer. Just keep squirting. <laughs> keep squirting. Yeah, because I think it's just to make it smell nice, isn't it? Can you put too much in? No. Is it going to throth at the mouth? Uh, possibly. <laughs> well, that'll do then. I've used nearly half of that. Yep, that's good. Okay. So, so now we're going to fill it up with water. Not to the very top, but fill it up. And then just have a little drive around, swish it all together like a washing machine, empty it, and hopefully... Have a lovely, fresh, new, fantastic, grey waste tank. It's like you said, you don't want to fill it right to the top because you want it to swish around in there and be able to yeah. move a bit. But you do want it quite high because it needs to reach the top of the sensors. So it says it's 25% percent full but it looks nearly full it looks a lot more than that yeah so that just shows how it does need cleaning in properly on the prongs doesn't it yes aki under there we should start looking after things like this a bit more we do i quite often wipe that when we go into there right turn that off go for a little drive swish it around sorted so we're going to go for a swish wash? Yes, only a little drive around the campsite, swish our water around. And then uh, we'll empty it and we'll have a lovely clean tank, hopefully. Good job. I'm a very good squisher, me, Mazzy. The secret <laughs> is to put your foot down and then brake fast, and then it squishes it all. All the water's going like that when I drive. Oh. <laughs> so we're fully swished all around. We're going to empty it now. See what's what. Yeah, it looks as if it's had a good swishing. Alf, empty it. It literally does take about 20 seconds with this fan, it's fantastic. So we're going to empty that and then I've just got another chemical I need to put in for people who don't know much about motorhoming, there is another freshener you can put in, which I'll go get now. So we've got as much out as we can, we are on a bit of a slope so we can't completely empty it but it does show zero. So I'm going to close that now. There's a little bit left in, which isn't a bad idea really. That'll help it to uh, swish around a bit more. And it says put one of these in. I'm putting two in. Because I don't do this every time. I should really. Two of them in. And it does sm it smell nice before I put that in. But that is called Let's Tank look. Fresh Super Citrus. 20 shots. That's lasted us for a since we got the van, hasn't it? Yeah. So that is it, guys. All fully cleaned. I don't know where my lid is, Mazzy. Thank you very much. Lid on. And away we go. So yeah, I got this idea off a, a forum, a motorhoming forum. And it seemed, it, I can smell it, it smells lovely. Um, you guys give it a go. Tell us what you think, let us know in the comments what you think of that idea and if you've got any other ideas for how to do it better. If you have access, you know, if you can park on your drive, you can spend time doing this properly, flushing it all through. We don't have that option, we can only do it when we're on a campsite. Um, but yeah, that's our way of doing it. So anything else to add, Mazzy? Not a lot really, just uh, yeah, if you've got the opportunity, I would advise possibly leaving it to soak for several hours. Yeah, definitely. You know, if you can, if like if you are at home and you can empty it at home, just 
fill your tank up, drive around for 10 hours, leave it overnight and empty yeah. it in the morning. That's what I'd suggest. But yeah. The main thing, you know, has it actually fixed the problem? I think it has. Should we have a look at the lights? The lights. Go on then. Da, da, da. Yay! Zero percent. The sensor is working for now. Thanks for watching, people. Another little tip from us. I know it's not a massive tip, but people who are new to motorhoming, hopefully it'll help you out. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you all later on Travel Trolls TV. Say goodbye, Mazzy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please comment and hit the like button. That helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.